थॉट लेवल पे था और कुछ नहीं था फाइन आंसर नहीं कि ये सिर्फ मेंटल लेवल पे था और कुछ नहीं हुआ हाँ सिर्फ यू कैन आंसर नहीं इसमें कि हाँ थ्रेटिकली डिस्क्राइब किया था बट वो रियलिटी में कैसा है इट वॉज नॉट क्लियर दैट इज वाई वी आर सेंग एनालिटिक नॉट प्रैक्टिकली विजिबल नाइदर इट वॉज क्लियर वॉट इज टू बी डन तो ये भी क्लियर नहीं था राइट फाइन नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस वे सो देर कम्स अनदर पर्सन फ्रैंक गुड नाउ ही राइट्स अ बुक पॉलिटिक्स एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सी 1900, so he writes a book Politics and Administration, and from here we take the idea that there is no concrete dichotomy. Now see he or from his writings start the concept of concrete. Concrete मतलब क्या है जो practically possible हो. Analytic means it is just theoretical. Fine. So when you make the timetable. it is a concrete time table or analytic time table it's an analytic time table right because you write how do you write the time table i will sleep at 11 o'clock right get up at 6 am 5 am maybe okay? 6 am you will get up right 6:15 you will have tea right 6:20 you will do this fine ye sab hai na aisa chalta rehta hai so when you get up at 8:30 then what will you do you restructure your time table फाइन यू डोंट रिस्ट्रक्चर इट आप दो घंटा आगे बढ़ा देते हो हर चीज राइट एंड देन यूल से ओ आई वॉज सपोज टू स्लीप एट इलेवन नो आई टू स्लीप एट वन ओ क्लॉक देन यूल स्लीप एट वन एंड नेक्स्ट डे विल गेट अप एट टेन ओ क्लॉक कि अरे मैं लेट सोया था ये विशेष साइकिल ऑफ टाइम टेबल है राइट सो वेन यू आर प्रैक्टिकली विजुअलाइजिंग समथिंग वेन यू आर टेलिंग इट इन अ मैनर दैट द रीडर द पीपल हु आर रीडिंग इट right the scholars who want to work on this idea they can practically visualize what is happening that is the meaning of concrete dichotomy so what he does he gives a statement he defines it very properly okay he says politics has to do with or politics is concerned with has to do with with the expression of the state's will will whereas administration has to see he now makes it more clearer ki what is the role of politics what is politics wherever the state right state political system has to express its will people's will right so whenever we talk about what society wants wherever we are talking about or developing those decisions making those decisions which express the will of people or will of the state that is politics wherever we are implementing that will is administration ab wo simplify kar raha hai ki jahan bhi decisions liye jayenge wherever we are making the decisions with respect to society and state that will be politics wherever the decisions will be implemented that will be administration state you understand what is state hmm. state kya utha mutu correct it may comprise of these things no but what is the state if i say you have you are in a state of anger what is state ha huh? i'm simply asking what is that meaning of state there
गवर्निंग आप उसको सिंप्लीफाइड हम जो साथ में स्टेट क्या है वाई डोंट बी यूज द वर्ल्ड गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट इज पार्ट ऑफ स्टेट यस पीपल गवर्नमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एवरीथिंग इज पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट राइट बिकॉज स्टेट इज द बिगेस्ट पावर इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी जो भी आपको करना है उसके लिए आपको एक क्या चाहिए परमिशन चाहिए वो परमिशन कहाँ से मिलेगी स्टेट से सो स्टेट इज अ सुपीरियर आइडिया टू द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटिक्स एंड एनी अदर थिंग दैट इज वाई प्रेजिडेंट इज हेड ऑफ द स्टेट एंड नॉट हेड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ठीक है तो गवर्नमेंट एक छोटी चीज हो गई राइट बट लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड so the states will wherever people's will right wherever all the will of the society is visible whoever is making those whoever is making decisions to use or to implement that will right that is politics to the politics kya karta hai uska kaam hai ki what is society want what politics want what economics want anything that society wants it expresses into a form and now that form or that goal is to be achieved by the administration to so administration ka kaam sirf implement karna hai uska kaam decide karna nahi hai but they were not treating administration as secondary system right they were simply trying to say it is an important system and its role is execution you have to understand let's not get into that detail but still for logic यहाँ पे इसने एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ पॉलिसी नहीं लिखा है एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ विल लिखा है दैट इज वाई यस इट्स नॉट जस्ट पॉलिसी लॉ बिल एनी थिंग इज विल सो दे इज अ स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग वाई समथिंग इज रिटर्न अगर पॉलिसी लिखा होता तो भाई हम सिंपल बोलते हैं पॉलिसी एग्जीक्यूशन इज द रोल ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बट उसने लिखा है विल फाइन तो आपकी आत्मा जो है वो स्टेट हो गया ठीक है लेकिन आत्मा की आवाज जो आई और उस पर जो आपने किया अपने हाथों से वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हो गया राइट सो योर एक्शन राइट और एक्शन बाय योर हैंड्स वॉट एवर यू डिड बाय दिस बॉडी कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम वॉट एवर यू आत्मा सेड बट स्टिल आत्मा एंड बॉडी आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स सो बट ही क्लियरली स्टैब्लिश कि जहां भी स्टेट का विल होगा वो पॉलिटिक्स है जहां भी स्टेट का विल इंप्लीमेंट होगा वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन खत्म तो सी ही मेक्स इट मोर क्लियर नाउ टू सपोर्ट हिज आइडिया ही टॉक्स अबाउट सी वो बहुत क्लियरली स्पेसिफाई करता है दैट पॉलिटिक्स क्या है ही सेइंग इट इज द इलेक्टेड पार्ट फिनिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज द ऑफिशियल पार्ट See, he is simplifying things. Politics elected, administration official. Policy formulation, politics. Implementation, administration. In a very simple way, he defines everything. He says. जहां भी इलेक्टेड पार्ट है पॉलिटिक्स ऑफिशियल रिक्रूटेड पार्ट है एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पॉलिसी फॉर्मुलेशन पॉलिटिक्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन देन थर्ड लेजिस्लेटिव अकाउंटेबिलिटी लेजिस्लेटिव अकाउंटेबिलिटी एक्सटर्नल अकाउंटेबिलिटी पब्लिक अकाउंटेबिलिटी जहां भी आएगी पॉलिटिक्स के लिए फाइन देन ही सेज वेर एवर दी डिपार्टमेंटल 
departmental accountability, executive or accountability towards executive, right? Or so it says simple hai, ki wherever the accountability is in the form of right legislative control, budgetary control, and laws, bills, whatever, committees, commissions, discussion, parliamentary, so bolta, jo bhi hai, wo pe politics. Jaha pe accountability aapko, boss ko accountable hai aap, right? Prime Minister, Minister ko accountable hai aap, ya apne official rules and regulation ko accountable hai, that is. That means he was trying to say that administrative accountability is internal and political accountability is external. Yes, so ultimately it is towards the accountability of politics or government to legislature. Is called legislative accountability. Now, what is legislature's accountability? Kis ke liye hai? Yes. Voters, citizens, people. But different, abhi, next point he is talking about. ये आज के डेवलपमेंट है ना वो 1900 में बता रहा है फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस भी तो इंपॉर्टेंट है ना hmm. क्या बोल सकते हैं हां ठीक है आप उसको लिंक कर सकते हो बट सी व्हेन व्हेन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दैट एरा द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द मोड ऑफ अकाउंटेबिलिटी वाज वेरी डिफरेंट Right? Today you have media accountability, you have digital media accountability, you have social media, you have a lot of accountability. But what do you want in a simple way? Mein, that whenever you are answerable to your boss or an official in the system or your minister, right? Or to the established rules and regulation, then most likely you are administration. If you are answerable to budget committee or to PAC, to legislative committees, to parliament, then you are most likely politics. Right? It is more simplified, understand it. Right? Then, politics, this is little wrong, this is not acceptable, but he talks about the idea. Politics, normative. Administration, empirical or so normative it is more rational because it is based on values it is based on facts so it is dominantly fact based or objective in nature, this is more value based. Can you give an example how it is value based? If foreign, if, if sorry, finance secretary, finance minister and RBI governor were to be involved, right, then would the government have taken up the demonetization drive in this manner? Never. If the experts of that field of that area were to be concerned, consulted, right, or involved, these decisions would not have been taken. Farm laws, they were made by, no doubt, they were made by bureaucrats, they were made by expert people maybe, fine, but states were not consulted. It was imposed on the states. So many examples, I'm not simply talking about, or any other thing, right? For example, the BRT corridors in Delhi, bus rapid transit system, which are very well working in Ahmedabad, but they're not successful in Delhi. Why? The urban local development ka case study is very important. Why it is not successful? It is successful there, it is not successful here. BRT, BRT corridor. Sheila Dixit wanted to implement, even, even she had established the corridors, but it could not be implemented. Why not? Ahmedabad mein hai. 
successful certain things are there right pehla sabse important aspect hai politics when you think of delhi delhi is not governed by a single party even though there was congress i'm not denying the fact but when shila dikshit wanted to implement there was bjp nda gajpay was there right nothing wrong with that even though but politics of delhi is very different from politics of gujarat or ahmedabad that is very important aspect second aspect you see the magnitude of population of delhi right even if you say it is almost 1.5 crore 6 crore no in reality it is almost 3 crores because there are majority of the people who are not accounted for migrants floating population floating vehicles right so let's say if there are assume this way even though there are more number of vehicles but i'm saying let's say around 20 lakh 30 lakh vehicles are moving on the road then out of that 5 to 6 lakhs or 3 to 4 lakhs are coming from outside delhi point so if i say that all the decisions are taken on the basis of facts then more or less they are more likely to give the result that we want but majority of these decisions are subject to the approval by valuers so your ministers may go in the desert and promise that will bring a hydel project here the government will say yes we'll go for interlinking of river basins but they have been delayed sare projects to ho nahi paye right or for that matter the government may promise that we are spending 2 lakh crore on the rail safety but something else happens see i am just trying to say that every decision that is taken in the government need not be totally based on facts in fact majority of them are not based on facts garibi hatao abhiyan right now we have now we have lot of jumlas right but you cannot say that jumlas never existed they are since 1950 we yeah, are definitely why not but it is using it in a positive way but you are not without toilets right how will you influence them so see when we talk about behavioral economics it is based on scientific understanding when you talk about values or value domination you are referring to more subjective aspects behavioralism is not value based pehle ye clear hona chahiye Right? the behavioralism as a development in field of public administration or any other social science was based on empirical study it wanted to make or convert pavard from less scientific to become more scientific right and it can be made more scientific only when we eliminate the human error how can we eliminate the human error when we understand it right tabhi to main aapko manipulate kar sakta hu आपको गाइड कर सकता हूं जब मुझे आपकी साइकोलॉजी पता होगी एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू स्टडी यू इन डिटेल दैट इज व्हाट बिहेवलिस्ट डिड दे स्टडीड ह्यूमन बीइंग ह्यूमन एस्पेक्ट सोशल एस्पेक्ट सो दैट दे कैन कंट्रोल एंड रेगुलेट इट ये उनका पर्पस था फाइन उनका पर्पस ये नहीं था कि मैं हम ये पढ़े वर्कर्स को और फिर उनको इमानसिपेशन करें फ्रीडम दें राइट फंडामेंटल राइट्स दें उनको ये उनका पर्पज नहीं था so see it may be fact based it may be value based though it is not totally correct right ye values percolate into administration also and facts are based on in sorry facts are used in political decisions also so when government is making a policy it takes due consideration of the data and facts and the realities bina reality ke policy bhi nahi banti hai right so that is probably not totally correct but he talks about this idea so see good now when he talks about politics and administration and he specifies each and every aspect right institutional separation ab usne bola institutional separation bhi hai that is very interesting so he talks about institutional separation right and he writes it in a very layman manner layman in the sense very common sense manner 
legislatures politics right the government politics bureaucracy administration so it simplifies it very well ki bhai ye kya hai jahan bhi locus is public bureaucracy right he says this is administration wherever you see public bureaucracy it is administration it can be a constable it can be a dgp doesn't matter is it says where you see political system or a constitutional system or a statutory system generally he says it is politics obviously he was trying to understand as per his own american view right aaj ye sab kuch sahi na ho theek hai are you getting my point this may not be totally correct today kyunki aaj bahut sare statutory bodies are headed by public servants right but for that scenario he was trying to say that if there is something political if people are elected in that system if it is a constitutional body if it is a statutory body most likely it is to be part of politics rest jo hai wo public bureaucracy fine so see when goodnow comes with this ideas sorry then ultimately there becomes or there comes a clarity on politics administration dichotomy so the logic of dichotomy actually emerges from goodnow's writing and not from wilson's writing isliye usko bola gaya father of american public administration right so even if the question comes ki bhai dichotomy is attributed to wilson fine you also or always should bring into the discussion the goodnow's logic so you cannot undermine the goodnow's uh, contribution yes that is why the question had come in the ups you know can wilson be called as father of goodnow that is why they asked it obviously goodnow ke bahut criticisms hain uske bhi criticisms hain wilson ke bhi criticism hai wo criticism yahi se aapko pata chal jayenge kyun because again you can talk about the idea when in 1940s right ab inke criticism kahan se shuru hote hain see it was also this idea was supported by right dichotomy basically the term was used by ld white waldo van riper stevers etc so ultimately many of these scholars but ld white and waldo are quite popular stevers van riper many people have referred to this idea wilson never said dichotomy right even goodnow also technically never said dichotomy but he talks about separation this was supported by ld white right he also somewhere accepts the same logic ld white Waldo was saying Waldo was criticizes the dichotomy but Waldo uses the term dichotomy LD White because the term dichotomy was not used by Wilson or Goodnow right they were talking about separation of politics from administration the idea of dichotomy comes from these scholars they started using the term right to so, Sachin Tendulkar ne khud ko to master blaster nahi bola hoga na शाहरुख खान ने खुद को किंग खान तो नहीं बोला होगा फाइन वैसे ही इन्होंने खुद डायकॉटमी नहीं बोला इन्होंने बोला कि अच्छा दे आर टॉकिंग वो डायकॉटमी 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 राइट सो व्हाट यू कैन से द मार्केट बज और द मार्केटिंग ऑफ वट एवर दिस सेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डायकॉटमी वॉज डन बाई दिस पीपल एल डी वाइट ऑल्सो सपोर्टेड दिस द फर्स्ट टेक्स्ट बुक दैट ही राइट्स introduction to the study of pabad huh 
फर्स्ट टेक्स्ट बुक इन अमेरिका और अमेरिकन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन नॉट इन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन introduction to the study of pubat public accounts now see in this book even though he accepts dichotomy he believes that pubat can be made into science it has the potential to become a science right they were all supporting this idea but he somewhere diverts this attention or you can say probably he misinterprets wilson's idea of business wilson ka business ka sense tha professionalism iska sense kuch aur ho gaya now he gives a statement right in his book the study of public administration or study of the study of pubad must start with the base of management rather than the foundation of law and right? now say he somewhere misinterprets the idea or probably he has his own idea that the study of administration has nothing to do with political context good afternoon everyone i am dipankar chaudhary i secured rank 42 uh, this time in civil services examination i just came from one of my assignments as you can see i am currently working i have a morning to evening duty right now and uh, i am currently posted in kerala as an asp assistant superintendent of police under training so uh, ashutosh sir has been you know one of the greatest motivators to me during my civil services preparation i remember when i cleared my ips i got into ips he was the first one of the first persons to tell me that you should reappear for this examination because i had completely given up after 3 years of such hard work i was like i am done i don't want any part of this anymore i need to take a break i need to relax but i am very grateful that he motivated me to write this examination again and uh, he uh, i i really wish you all the best for all your endeavors one thing i would want to add about ashutosh sir is that uh, my, my option was public administration and public administration got very unique and icy after you know post 2012 so ashutosh sir was one of the first faculties in new delhi to get a hold of that new uh, that new what do you say uh, the new pattern in public administration or the new syllabus or the hidden syllabus as many would have called it so i'm really grateful to him for that best of luck best of luck to all of you everyone goodbye